ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. Green to bring it back. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. They're set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. It's a tied football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tied game. No need to panic. No need to change our mind. We didn't put anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They'll look to throw here. Oh, going for Sanders downfield. And this is going to be dropped. Oh, my gracious. There was no one in his area code, but he could not hang on to it. So, Charles, tie game here. What are your keys as we continue to play this second half? You know, I know people think it's always trite when you say the same things over and over, but they're tried and true in the game of football. Who's going to block better? Who's going to tackle better? In this case, to me, it's turnovers. You've got to take care of the football in order to win the game. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Back to throw. He's going to take another shot here. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 22. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. It's over, it's over, let's dominate it. Second down and eight. They'll go again with Sanders. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. An extra man in the secondary for Washington on third down. Back to throw, Kramer. He finds his man, Johnson. And he is gonna have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trap in pregame warm up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Defense! 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 
On first down, Kramer. And that's complete to Sanders. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second down, it's Sanders, and he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. <laughs> On first and 10, Kramer. And that is intercepted, or was it? Wait, they'll say no, no interception. He did not keep the feet in bounds, apparently. So that's just going to be an incompletion. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and 10. To throw again, Kramer. A throw caught here by Morton. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 30. But whenever you call and run the hitch route, a lot of times that ball's got to be in the air before the receiver even turns around. That's a result of throwing it so many times in practice. It's really a timing route. Make sure that ball's out of your hands, and oftentimes the receiver turns around, and there's the ball. Nice completion there. They go back to the ground with Sanders. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. And they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Coming up on second and seven. Looking to throw. Kramer. Johnson's got it complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 17 yard line. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. Able to fight for about four yards there to the 13. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Another run with Sanders. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven as that one officially a loss of one. No daylight for him to run through there, and he ran into the defensive tackle. And that guy blocks a whole lot of daylight as it is. He is truly a big man who just made a big play. Come on, A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. Back to throw. Kramer. And that is incomplete. Tight defense there on third down, but what a product of good coaching and even better execution because he realized he's in field goal range, no sense forcing anything, and he made sure he didn't. Now the Lions, they send out the field goal unit here. And this one is right through. And they take a 17-14 lead. So the turnover leads to points as they add three there. Yeah, what a sequence there and a nice one for them. They force the interception, put together a little drive, and then come away with three points. Nothing to it, partner. Just do it. Jack. 
The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Green to bring it back. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Here again comes the captain of this offense leading his crew back out there now. And he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. But let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for him, it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. Here's a handoff out of the gun. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. Sometimes with the running game, you just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Eight yards to go on second down. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he'll get about four across the 30 to the 32. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. For the Lions, an extra DB in the game now here on third down. They'll set up a throw. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now at FedEx Field. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. And now here's a carry heading left. And he's got this down to the 35. We'll definitely see some more running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Back to throw here. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. From the gun, they'll try to run it. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. A field goal from this spot would be 51 yards. They'll try to move it closer on third down. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. 
From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And this is taken in for a Washington touchdown. A great effort there. There to make the grab. And Washington has retaken the lead. This has definitely been a back and forth affair, and now they have the lead here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, and they gave up the field goal on that last drive, as we remember, but it felt like their offense told them, don't worry about it, we've got your backs. We'll come back with a touchdown of our own, and they did. Extra point attempt here still to come. It's up and good to make it 21-17. So that drive goes eight plays. And it was polished off by a Washington touchdown. yards deep he'll bring it out of the end zone and in hindsight probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16 yard line the Lions offense they get ready to head back onto the field and they will be looking to answer the touchdown their defense just surrendered still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. They start on the ground here at Sanders. As Sanders has it poked free. He wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. The fumble on first down. Now here's second down. They'll run. It's Sanders. And they got half of what he needed there, two yards. And it'll bring up a third and two more. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successful? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back. Those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successful in this game. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up four. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense is pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame whooping has turned into results. Here comes the Lions punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. He'll look to set up his blockers. It's a 45-yard punt, then eight on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open but you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays that are going to gain yardage, how would you say it, consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs, and the goal, end the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you still have the lead. A throw left side to start out. That's complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 
Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. Now, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Now a handoff as they run left side. Treads the tackle, and he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. 42 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. Brandon, they're still in the lead, but momentum's certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Try and regain some confidence, and you're right. They need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Fourth quarter, hey, down to the final two down. minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ball game. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. To throw it is Rippon. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This will be kicked from the 42. It's a 52-yard attempt. And this one is right down Broadway. And that'll make this a seven-point game. So they hadn't called on him at all until this point, but he comes through here and buries one from long range. Yeah, that's awfully impressive because usually kickers like to get that first run out of their system in the first quarter, sort of get them into the flow of the game. But to come in this late and knock it down from long distance, give him a lot of credit. away and off it goes. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22 yard line. So 
So now the Lions down by seven. And time, a huge factor. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be a second down. It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. The Lions need to move. They're hustling to the line now. Back to throw. That swung out wide to Sanders. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. No timeout. You got to go quick here. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Back to throw. And this would have been intercepted if he could have gotten the feet in. He didn't, so it's incomplete. Well, that one really could have turned this thing upside down. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. Going for it with Sanders. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. Add that one to the good run tally right there. He's been strong throughout this game. And there's no reason to suggest he's going to slow down in the fourth quarter at all. And that's exactly what they need him to do. Keep churning out first downs. First down now, but that clock rolling. He's back to throw. He's going to let it fly. And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. A big play that time through the air. 34 yards. That's a great job of working the sideline right there. I love how he tracked the football the whole way. Just reached up and pulled it in. Had excellent field presence to understand where he was in order to make that play happen. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. He'll look to throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And this ball is caught. It's a touchdown. And now in the final seconds, they're a PAT away from likely getting this thing to overtime. Yes, sir, that touchdown puts him in striking distance. And let me tell you something, forget being conservative here. Go for it. Go for two. Well, going for it on the road. Want to win it right now? Want to win it right now? Have the momentum? Go ahead and get it done. No going for two. They'll kick the point after. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. To try here for the extra point. And he has got it. So barring something crazy on the kickoff, we're looking at an extra period to decide this one. That time, a six-play drive. And the touchdown capped off by the PAT, and that means that we are likely heading to overtime. No 
nothing separating these two sides. 24 all our score as he sends this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. So four quarters wasn't enough, and we are off to overtime. Don't change that dial. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and it gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. Green to bring it back. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Well, here we go on the next drive for Washington. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition. Let's face it now, the ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. Yeah, as we said, they control their own destiny now hands it off out of the gun and he'll work this forward for about three at second down short gain there to start overtime almost a tester play wasn't it wanted to see if the guys on defense were going to fit the gaps the correct way because we're in overtime so it's not just physical tiredness out there right mentally are you still doing what you're supposed to do and they were up to the task on that play and certainly fatigue on both sides of the football now here's a throw that's complete. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Charles, you get into these overtime situations, that's not a bad guy to dial into. Well, when you have to have plays, especially in a spot as you just described, we're at OT, you've got to go to the guys you can trust and you know are going to make the plays. Well, they say, it's not the X's and the O's, it's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. They run the counter now on first down. And he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. 53 yards rushing for him now as he was just trying to win his guys to an overtime victory. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. From the 41, Rippin got a man. It's Brown. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. At that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover it before he gets going? A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Now rip it. And he finds the tight end, Reed. Not much there, only a yard. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Second and nine. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he'll be brought down right at midfield after a gain of only a couple. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. What will they draw up to try to keep this opening drive of overtime moving? Third and seven. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 38-yard line. Shaping up to be a very efficient opening drive here in overtime. And can you feel the tension building? 
because I'm feeling it. All right, I've got the, I've got the sweaty palms here with each play because of the enormity of what's going on. Each play means so much in overtime, and they're handling it well as this drive continues. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Rip into pass. And he's got his big tight end here. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. A big connection on that one. 30 yards. Well, that certainly changes things here because they're in field goal range already, but a field goal, that's not what they're looking for now, not after that big play right here in overtime. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Here's Rippin. And he's into the end zone for the touchdown and the game winner in OT. So the game winning touchdown came through the But the execution was pretty darn good. A lot of scoring. There's no doubt about that in this one, Charles. Points, they were not in a premium. They were pretty easy to come by. <laughs> they were, but it was fun, wasn't it? Because both teams finding ways to click. And you know people who love this game. They also love baseball games that are 14 to 11 with three or four home runs mixed in.